Masahito Kawamori, Project Professor, Keio University, also the Rapporteur of Question 26, Study Group 16, ITUT. Could you please give our viewers an introduction to the importance of ICT accessibility? Well, um, ICT is everywhere. So unless you have very good accessibility, ICT doesn't mean anything to people. So accessibility and ICT are very important, especially in the case of uh, persons with disabilities as well as uh, people aged with uh, some physical, uh, well, disability. So this is, uh, that's, that's why they're important. How should we best understand the concept of mainstreaming ICT accessibility? Mainstreaming ICT accessibility means that uh, everyone actually doesn't think about accessibility at all, in a sense. So accessibility becomes just normal and uh, it's, it's just accessible. How should we best understand the concept of mainstreaming ICT accessibility? Well, so uh, technical in standardizing technology, uh, we have to take into account accessibility in every, every detail so that anything can be accessible from the very beginning of uh, drafting of standards as well as implementation, as well as actually in developing applications and technologies. What role has ITU played in improving ICT accessibility? IT has played a great role in um, mainstream this I ICT accessibility, especially in the actual uh, practices of um, using ICT for accessibility. One of the examples is the actual uh, remote participation and also guidelines. And if you uh, participate in uh, any of the uh, big events in um, IPT, I mean uh, ICT areas, and, uh, sponsored and hosted by ITU, you see accessibility features provided. And that's one of the things that we think ITU has contributed a lot in this area. Are there any recent ITU achievements in that arena that you would like to highlight? Yes, I'd like to point out that the new recommendation called H.702, which is a, a profile uh, for IPTV and uh, which has already been implemented and also available in the market, which provides different uh, capabilities that are necessary for persons with disabilities, such as closed captioning, closed sign language interpretation, audio description, audio guidelines, and things like that. And uh, this is something we can do now and available. So uh, ITUT is, and Question 26 in particular, is very proud to be able to produce this standard.